What's up team? It is your biggest fan, the real Casadero, and I can never I can never I'm always worried about the focus on this thing. Let's see. Alright team. So in this video, we're talking about how to fight depression. And for those of you who don't know who I am, I am a former United States Army section sergeant and former development operations administrator uh, working for Insight Global at Microsoft. And I was fired from that job in 2018, and that's where I started to like really, not not even then, right? I went into depression, but I didn't realize it. I had never really thought about it, right? Because even in times when I was depressed, I was I was I was pretty busy, and it wasn't until I like stopped and like really took I I, I wouldn't even say took a break. But it was when I wasn't busy, when it, basically when I wasn't busy anymore, then that's when the depression sets in. And so, again, I'm no expert. I'm no, I'm not a professor. I don't, I have no medical degrees. I have, I haven't taken, I've taken course, like classes in the, in the military because you have people in the military, people in the army who get depressed, especially after like deployments. Um, people are really depressed because you leave for a year and you come back and like your wife, your wife was sleeping with the neighbor. And she was sleeping with the neighbor's neighbor. And, and and then sometimes like both, they, I mean, you know, or your husband, your husband was cheating with your best friend um, or your best friend's best friend or your aunt or your uncle. I mean, people do weird stuff. It's just a wild world out here, team. And so you get, you we, we come back and like, you may leave and things seem okay. And you come back and like your whole life is in shambles. People come back home and like their, their family's gone. Like they've just packed up everything and moved. Or you'll get guy, you'll get people who come back, and you know their their best friend died while they were in combat, and now they did, they just don't know what to do, and they don't know how to communicate with their husband anymore, um, because they've been gone so long, right? You know, you, you so th that's the kind of stuff. So you go through these classes and stuff as an NCO, but again, right? I'm not, I'm just giving you my experience, what I've been through, and just sort of how I'm dealing with it. Um, and how I've dealt with it in the past and how I've dealt with it and didn't even realize I was dealing with it. When I got out of the army, like when you're getting out, you have to go see, well, number one, after every deployment, you go see some sort of psychiatrist. Um, I think that's a, I think that's a terrible thing to do because you have people who were gone for like 12 months and then they come back and, and they just want to go, they just want to get back to life, especially the people who, who have, who have a happy life or they believe their life is going to be happy they just want to get back to like living a normal life right you know wake up at nine go to work come home at five and that's not the case in the army you wake up at four and you go to work at five and you, you run four or five miles you exercise go to the gym whatever and then you you shower you your personal hygiene stuff and then you go to work from nine but depending on your job and your rank and where you work at i mean a, a typical day could be anywhere from 12 to, to 16 hours. I mean, you just don't know. Sometimes you get duty and it's 24 hours straight. Like you go to work at 9 in the morning and you don't leave till 9 the next day. And you don't sleep the entire 24 hours. Um, I, that is done on purpose for very specific reasons related to, um, you know, the military. But that's, that's just the way it is, team. So, so you... We have access to these facilities, but a lot of people don't want to use them because they just want to get back to their lives. And then on top of that, you're in this profession where you don't talk about that kind of stuff, man. You just got to go do it. And you're doing things that normal people wouldn't do. Like who? I mean, I don't know, man. I do know. I do know. It's, it's, it's a different kind of life. And every, everybody experiences this. I'm not, it doesn't make soldiers any better than anybody else. Everybody goes through this in some kind of way. It is all relative. Some people are depressed about their job. Some people are depressed about their family. Some people are depressed about their friends. Some people are depressed about video game. Who knows whatever, team. This is how I realized that I could get beyond this. And it's doing something. For me, it was just doing something. And doing something that gave me meaning and purpose. And when I say meaning and purpose, I'm not talking about like you have to go out and change the world. Some people get depressed. And they, they come to this place and they're like, okay, look, I got to do something, but it has to be meaningful and purposeful and it, I have to make this impact. And they go down this road and I mean, it could, it could turn into disaster. This is how Hitler became Hitler. Like this guy was depressed because he could not, 
express himself artistically in the way that he thought he should be able to express himself artistically and that led to other issues which led to relationship problems and him being able to meet people and identify identify with people and then one day Hitler got involved in politics because there was a bigger purpose for him he was going to he was going to make Germany a better place and so that's what he set out to do and in the beginning it seemed like a worthy worthwhile thing but we all know how that story ends team so just I would say beware of that I don't know yeah I may go down that road I may be the next Darth Vader I don't think so I, I try to think out into the future um, even with just making these videos right I don't want to record a video that somebody takes the wrong way and then they go out and they just do something completely insane I, I, I would like people to get to know themselves and to get to know who they are and question everything question why they feel the way they feel why they think the way they think why they have these political viewpoints they have and then when they ask those questions to ask even more questions like what is the cost if I do this thing if I try this thing like what is the cost like what is the real cost what is what is the what is the what is the benefit right and then compared to what what if I compare and I got this from from us from a guy named Thomas Sowell he's old now old man Thomas Sowell is probably I don't know in his 80s maybe R really smart guy um, an economist a black economist and he asked those three questions he asked them from an economic standpoint right whenever you come across an issue where economics is involved you ask what's what's the cost what do I have to give up and what am I getting and is this thing that I'm getting beneficial and is it beneficial compared to what and 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 what what is what is the empirical evidence of it being so and I learned to question things like that and before time is sold I learned to question things like that in the army because even though you're in the army and there's doctrine and how to do all kinds of and how to, just about how to do everything how to tie your shoes there is a way to tie your shoes right you put the the right goes over the left when you lace them up <laughs> like this is in a book they tell you how to do it but everything is rooted in some sort of system and it was I realized this when I was when I was younger like probably like my first five to six years in the army I started to uncover all these things and then that's when I started to like really make my ascent into the the higher ranks where I would be in charge of people and equipment and different missions and situations but every there, there is a system for everything but they do it that way in order because the military knows they know they know how people operate and they know what affects people and they know what depresses people and they know how to pull people out of depression so if you can take everything and you can put it in a form that's easy to find when somebody has an issue you can point to that thing you can say follow these instructions and as long as you are focused on something you can't let the demons of depression creep in so that's why I say focus on something that is beneficial something that makes you feel good but don't pin yourself to like this large overarching thing start small team and it doesn't have to be an impactful meaningful thing it just have to it, it, it only has to be impactful and meaningful to you if you like to build puzzles then build puzzles and just start don't even think about it the problem with being depressed is you think about stuff you want to do and then you go oh, man I don't want to you know and you start thinking about all this hard stuff that's associated associated with it strip away all that crap and just start with one thing team just just one thing right right maybe you have always wanted to write and now you're depressed take out a notebook and write one sentence and then put the notebook away if you want and then to, and tell yourself you know I don't feel that good but I'm gonna come back here tomorrow and I'm gonna do this again and you just do that in in the in the and as you do it the ideas will come and before you know it you'll be writing whole pages and then whole books and you'll and you will have come out of depression and you won't even realize it you won't even know what to call this new feeling but when you seek back into depression you know what to call that you'll call it depression the other thing you just call you call normal and this is why we have life then we have depressed yeah people and then we got depressed people team but that's how that's how I dealt with it that's how I'm dealing with it now if you watch some of my previous videos you see like life hasn't been easy for me team 
but it shouldn't be because it's life. I'll see you guys in the next session. <laughs>